Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about the top 10 best free digital product creation tools you can get online today. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you know that here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay guys, let's go check it out. Now the first place we're going to be looking at today is Canva. Now obviously everyone knows about Canva these days, it's one of the most popular websites online. Now with this particular one, especially for product creators, now what I'm looking at here is a two column interior. Now if you wanted to say for example create something with two columns in it, you can go through here and have a look through, you can pick and choose one that you like, and you can just make, you can make a choice as to how you want to do this. Now, I saw this one here earlier. I thought this was beautiful. It's a magazine style. You can edit it any way you want. And it just makes for a beautiful interior if you're wanting to create a digital ebook. Now, if you're also wanting to create a cover, they also have the options to create covers as well. There we are. And you can go through and you can have a look at all the different ebook covers that they have going here. And you can just make up whatever you want from any of these kind of designs. And the best part about Canva is it's free. You can pay for a monthly subscription if you wish to, which is what I have done because it does give you more options. But you don't have to. And that's the best part about it. Now, this is not obviously going to be a Canva tutorial. So my suggestion would be, if you want a Canva tutorial, there's plenty of other videos you can watch on that. But let's just keep watching through to the end so you can see what other 10 tools we have for you. So let's go to the next part of the video. Now, this is one I go to all the time. It's called remove.bg. Now, I use this one all the time, especially when I'm creating my thumbnails. Now, if I've got something which has got like this background here, quite often I'm wearing a dark shirt. And a lot of the times, other, other ones don't necessarily remove the background properly for you. However, this one, have a look at this. Now, all I have to do is just go here. And here's one that I did earlier. Just... Well, let's choose one here. Let's just choose this one here. Uh, no, let's go... Uh, that one will do. So here's another one we're going to be doing. And as you can see, it's looking at it and it has completely removed the background. And all you need to do here is download it to wherever you want and it is done. Which now go, brings me to my next one. Now the next one I go to on a very regular basis with every thumbnail I create is GIMP. It stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. GNU Image Manipulation Program. And this is completely 100% free. Now I use this regularly. As you can see with this particular Quillbot logo, I have got this one and I have put a little white outline around the outside of it and I find GIMP is fantastic for that sort of thing. It's a it's an awesome little image manipulator and it's been around for quite a long time. And this is the one I specifically use every time I create a thumbnail. Now if you're more into Photoshop and you're wanting like a free version of Photoshop, you can get something called Photopia. Now Photopia is only fairly new but it's very similar to Photoshop and as you can see it'll also allow you to import PSD files which is fantastic if you have PLR products because a lot of PLR products will supply you with PSD files unfortunately GIMP does struggle with some PSD files so you might be better off going to Photopia if you're wanting to get 
manipulate some of the images that you get from uh, PLR places and so forth. So my suggestion would be jump into Photopia and use this if you get some PSD files that you'd like to be able to change. Let's go to the next one. Now you'll find that I don't often talk about funnels or page builders or anything like that. But in this particular case, we're looking at free options here. So if you're wanting to create a web page or anything like that, and you're wanting to create a funnel, then really, and you don't have the money to be able to purchase $97 a month or $99 a month on ClickFunnels or anything like that, then you can use GrooveFunnels. The first three pages, I think it's three pages are free and you can use free you can use this completely free of charge and this is group funnels on the inside and look it's fantastic you can use this you know as much as you want you can use it for your web pages you can use it for your squeeze pages or landing pages you can use it for you, a whole bunch of different things and you can create your entire funnel out of this and it allows up to three websites so you can do that as well and it's completely free. Mark Phil Same created this and he decided because of COVID-19, he would make it free for everyone, but with limitations. Once you go past those limitations, you might want to purchase for the upgraded version. And if you wish to upgrade, they have the option of doing that here too. We'll have a quick look at the upgrade prices and you can go down here. Now this is not an affiliate program, okay, so I'm not getting paid anything for this. And it's a one time, just a one time low price, no monthly payments ever. So it'll be interesting to see what this what price this is. I haven't looked at this for quite a long time. So I don't actually remember what the price of this is. And we can have a quick look. And I don't know if you've seen the price or not, I haven't. Oh, here we are. Platinum plan for monthly. Okay, here we are. Best value. $1,397 for Platinum Lifetime. Or if you got Platinum Lifetime, which is this one. Two easy payments is $799. Or Platinum Lifetime. Five time payment, payment of $497. So this one is obviously the best value if you wish to be able to spend that. If you've got that kind of money to spend on it. And as I said, this is not an affiliate program, so I would get nothing if you decide to purchase this. And that's fine. But my suggestion would be jump into the free plan if you like it. Upgrade if you wish to. If not, then that's fine too. You might prefer to be spending $97 a month or $99 a month on places like ClickFunnels. But personally, I'm a one-off payment sort of person. Once it's purchased, you've got it for life and you don't have to worry about it after that. So if I was going to purchase this, this one would be the one I would purchase. And I would definitely get that middle one, which would be the $1,397. So if I was going to do that, that's the one I would do. Okay, but for the moment, stick with the free one. There's nothing wrong with it. It's really quite good. So let's head on over to the next one. Okay, now this particular one is a Chrome extension. It's brilliant because what you can do, say for example, let's go over to ClickFunnels sales page again. Say for example, you want to have a look at how many words are here and, and you're doing this because you're doing some research. You want to be able to find out how many words are in a particular blog that you want to be able to turn into a page. You can go like this, go control A, select all that and on the right hand side you go here you see where it says count these words that is because i have used this particular one and i have downloaded this into my chrome extension and this way i can now go right click click on that and it gives me it tells me there are 710 words in this sales page with 4,547 characters, no spaces, that makes it 3,744. Now, you now know, for this sales page, it only has 710 words. And obviously, it does a great job. Mike Fulsame uses it. 
it's only 700 words and if you're wanting to say for example get somebody who can do some copy for you you don't you now know you only have to spend around about 700 720 words or whatever to be able to create a beautiful web page you don't need to get a 2000 word essay or anything like that to create a beautiful web page so that's one of the reasons how you can use that so that one there is a chrome extension called word counter and just look for that particular logo the wc and move on from there okay let's go over to the next one okay now if you've been a member of my site for any length of time you will have no doubt heard of me speak about screencast matic now screencast matic is a brilliant little software it's 720p with its resolution now it's a screen capture software which is beautiful it also allows you to be able to uh, capture your web page and also your camera at exactly the same time and the best part about it is it's free now obviously if you were wishing to use the editor well I would say that there, you, there are a lot of other editors that are a lot better than this one now if you're wanting to find free editors I will leave a link in the card above and I've got videos on free editors that you can use. Now, I would strongly suggest if you are going to go the free way with Screencast-O-Matic, it does allow you to do free screencasting, which is fantastic. And that's what you really want to do if you wanted to do how-to videos. And the best part about it is you can also have a little image of yourself in the bottom. I personally use Camtasia but you can use this just as well. Okay, let's go head on to the next one. Okay, now in this particular one, we're looking at PDF Escape. Now, if you wish to use the online version, you can do this and it is free. You can edit PDFs using this. And the good part about that is it allows you to, be able to do things like edit annotation, fill out PDF forms, create basic PDF forms, password protect forms, share documents online, and view PDF files. Now, if you were looking at purchasing this, you'd be looking at, uh, where is it? You can also use it for download it onto your desktop if you wish to. And it's also really good, but it does have a price. Let me have a look here. I can't find where the price is right now. But if you happen to come across it for price, you don't have to worry about paying for it. You can just use the free one online and click on that. And you see, you can create a PDF, upload a PDF and all that sort of stuff. You can upgrade account. There it is $2.99 per month to get ad free to remove all the ads. But if you can live with the ads, then seriously, it's not that big a deal. Okay, let's go move to the next one. Now, in this particular one, we're looking at the capitalize my title, but the cap we're not actually going to be looking at worrying about capitalizing my title right now because I can actually show you a much better way of doing that. What we're going to be looking at down here is this one here. It's called Headline Analyzer Tool. Let me just get rid of some of these ads so they're a little bit less distracting. Okay, let's just pause that video somehow. Well, let's not worry about that. Okay, so what we can do is you can have a look at that. It says 10 digital product creation tools. Now, its readability is 44, SEO 40, sentiment is 50. It's a pretty bad headline, to be perfectly honest. We can improve this very, very quickly, very, very easily. Let's have a look at how to do that. Oops, Daisy, computer's glitching away a little bit there. Firstly, let's remove the word digital. And we'll put down here free and we'll put down here best okay so 10 best free digital product creation tools on uh, online today okay let's see what comes up like we'll hit analyze okay now that's improved it up to 73% but let's see if we can do better than that. Very quickly, I'm going to get rid of the online today 
and see how that helps. So it's 77, 73, and 70. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Let's have a look and see if we can improve that. So by, re by just getting rid of that. Okay, so readability, 92, which is fantastic. SEO, which is 72. Sentiment, which is 72 as well. And we can scroll down here, 92. So that means that we can, it's creating titles with high readability means your title and articles are likely to appear to a wider audience and will require less brain power for people to understand. So if you're writing a kid's book, yeah, it doesn't have to go into that much detail. But anyway, it says that a good score is between 90 to 100%. And this is 92%, so that's really good. And the next score we have here, which is 72, which is the SEO score. Now, of course, if you can improve that, even better. And the way you can improve it is by using better power, using more power words and so forth and things like that. And it'll help you to do it. Maybe increase the uh, amount of characters to, say, 55, because that will stand out. You don't want to go more than that because it doesn't get ranked in Google if it goes more than 55 characters. And then you can also go here to the last one, which is an emotional count, which is the sentiment. And you've got two positive words. And if you've got more, obviously, more emotional connections with your headlines and titles, that will connect with your audience much, much better. And they'll be more inclined to want to click on your title. Don't make it clickbaity. You want it to be truthful. But you also want to be able to make it eye-catching and something that people will want to click on. Now let's go check out the next site. Now the last site we're looking at right now is called dafont.com. Now it's been around for quite a long time and the best part about this is you can use it in. You can download these and you can use it in your Word documents. You can use it in your GIMP image manipulator. Now if you've downloaded Photoshop, you can also use it in Photoshop. There's a whole bunch of things you can actually use this in. And that's the best part about it. Now, say, for example, you also have Microsoft Office 365 or Microsoft Office, any Microsoft Office, really. You can download this. And all you have to do is choose a font. Say, for example, I like this one. We can say download that. And once it downloads, all you need to do is decompress it then you have to let's go find where it is it's this one let's open this up this is the one we want to open up here the one that's got this little a on it click on that and you see here it's got print and then you've got install all you really have to do is click install and what will happen is it will now install that quickly onto all the device, all the things that require fonts. For example, your Word document, your GIMP image manipulator, or your Photoshop, or whatever one that requires images or new fonts, this will do it for you. It is as simple and as easy as that. Okay, that was the final one. And these are definitely the best of the 10. Now, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and if you like this video, why not share it? And also, while you're at it, leave a comment down below. And if you can come up with any other free things that you can think of, you can share that in the comment section as well. I mean, I know there are a lot more than just 10 items that you can choose from. But these are the first 10 that I want to come up with right now. And maybe in the next video, I'll be able to share some more with you. All right, guys, thanks for watching and bye for now.